This sounds a bit scary actually. So I've been sat here trying to figure out the best way to fully express how thankful I am to each and every one of you. I have actually reached 1000 subscribers and I, I can't believe it. I mean, I was even surprised when I first hit 10 subscribers, as, as silly as that sounds. I am incredibly grateful to have connected with so many of you since I first started. And it's been a lot of fun for me and a lot of work as well, putting these videos together of me just basically doing what I love to do. And I very much enjoyed sharing my experiences with all of you. And not only that, hearing from you guys and learning so much from so many of you. Once again, I'm probably gonna say this about 50 more times, thank you. So I figured the best thing to pair this video with my thank you was to share with you puzzle sets that were sent to me from you. So I guess we can also call this a, a fan mail or a fan haul video, which is fun. I can't wait to share with you what I have. And, and really, this is just too exciting, but you know what? Please excuse me if any of my words or sentences don't make any sense in this video. Honestly, I'm feeling quite overwhelmed, so I'm probably gonna be rambling and not making sense. But yeah, to be honest, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you're probably used to that already. But anyways, the first lot of mail that I got was from Connie. And Connie sent me two puzzle sets. And this is, this is so cool. So the first one that she sent me is a Ravensburger set. And Connie knows me here. It's a Disney set. She knows I love Disney. And this is a 1000 piece set. I'm guessing the series is the Disney's collector's edition. And it is of Cinderella. And this image is absolutely gorgeous. I, Cinderella is a Disney classic. So you know I'm crazy about it. And what I love is that, like how it has the film reel here of different scenes from the movie. And this is a beautiful puzzle and I'm super excited to get this one started at some point. And then the second puzzle that Connie sent me was, are you guys ready for this? Because I was blown away when I saw this. I now have Karen Puzzles Puzzle. And this is the 3000 piece set. And this one is Puzzles on Puzzles from Karen Puzzles herself. She's quite the inspiration to us puzzlers on YouTube. But you know what, Connie actually gave me my biggest puzzle count set yet. I only have up to 2000 pieces in my collection. So this one obviously has beaten all of them. And I'm, I'm super excited about this because this one looks absolutely fun. It looks crazy. This one looks like it's gonna be hard, especially with it being 3000 pieces, but this is, this is super cool. Thank you, Connie. Now our next one here is from Kathy S. And I picked this up the other day, actually, and I haven't opened it yet. So I have, I have no clue what's in here. So, you know what, I got my scissors. Let's open this together and let's see what Kathy gifted me here. Ooh, we have a little wooden puzzle. This is really cute. I don't actually own any wooden puzzles. This is my first one. And we have a cute turtle. Fun fact about me, I love turtles. I think they're the cutest pets along with frogs. I think, I think they're adorable. I'm the type of person that would throw myself on the floor so a bunch of turtles and frogs can hop and jump on me. Uh, turtles don't hop, crawl on me, I guess. But this is fun and this is super cute. Let me see, how big are these? Oh my gosh, I'm just looking at this now. This is interesting. These aren't at all traditional puzzle piece shapes. They're actually the shape of animals. Oh my God, this is gonna be challenging. I'm excited about this. There's some more in the, bo the, the bag here. Let's see what else she sent me. Ooh, we got kind of the same style here. We have another wooden puzzle and I have to open this because I am intrigued because it looks like it's the same. Oh my gosh. The print on this is amazing as well. Kathy, what are you doing to me? I don't even understand how you're meant to piece this together. They don't seem like very large count sets which is probably a good thing because I mean, we, we got some, we got some craziness going on in this. They're, they're animal shapes. It's, they're absolutely beautiful. And Kathy's got something else for me in here as well. 
Oh, she gave me a card. I'm not gonna read it out loud, just in case it's personal. I guess maybe if I read Kathy's card first, I would have, I would have, you know, understood here. So one of them is from Timu. I hope I said that right. And the other is from Craft New. So this is a lot of fun. And as I said, Kathy, I don't have any wooden puzzles, and those are my first. And those shapes are insane. So huge thanks. To Huge thank you. I'm already getting tongue-tied. I'm sorry. And there's one more in here that she sent me. So let's see what that is. Another wooden puzzle. And I love this image. I'm sorry. I paused for a minute because I, I literally transported right into this image as soon as I saw it. We have here a picture of a beautiful snowy village. What the heck? You know that's my house back there. I know that as soon as I wake up and have my cup of coffee, I'm gonna go walk into town and stop at this awesome looking bakery cart. That was probably one of the first things that caught my eye when I first looked at this image. I wish there was a cart that came around my neighborhood or my street and was like selling baked goods. I, I'd be all over it. I know for a fact I am gonna savor putting this one together because I, I love this. This is like, this image is so me. Kathy Lynn, I have no words, but a huge thank you. So the next thing that I got was a lovely postcard from Diane C. And I, I'm saying C because uh, for privacy reasons, I'm not sure if you want me to give the full name, but Diane C sent me a, a lovely letter. And not only that, she sent me a printout of different puzzle sets that I may be interested in that she wanted to send me. So I replied back to her, of course, I sent her a card and I received in the mail the other day, um, two big packages. And I'm serious, Diane wasn't messing around. But you know what, let's open the first one together. I haven't opened this yet and this is extremely dangerous. Don't do this guys. Okay, we are in. Oh, look at, ooh. Oh boy, guys, check this out. We have here for our first one, something called Impossibles, the game of life puzzle. The game of life just so happens to be one of my childhood favorite board games. So this one is exciting because this already brings back a ton of memories. But an impossible puzzle, I've never experienced one of these before. It says the only puzzle with no edges and five extra pieces Oh my, 750 pieces, but does that make it 755? I don't know. It's the world's most difficult puzzle. This will be an interesting one. This will make for a very interesting video. Oh, the next one that I, oh Jesus, I just saw. Oh my God. <sighs> Sorry guys, I need a moment. Sorry, I'm, you know what? Let me show you the one that just kind of took my breath away. I'm not gonna look at the other ones yet because I just gotta give you my first initial impressions of this image that I'm looking at. This one is from Bits and Pieces. And I mean, look at this image. This image literally took my breath away, as you probably saw me being quite dramatic there a second ago. It's called Moonlight Splendor, and it's 1,000 pieces. This image was like made my heart stop for a second because I immediately saw myself in this image. I mean, look, I'm right there. I'm walking out of my beautiful brick house. And of course that's my house. Look, all the lights are on again. I just felt like taking a late night stroll around town. I mean, this this image, this scenery, this the neighborhood, this is breathtaking. I am, I'm in love with this one. There's just something about the colors and the style of the houses. Like this is just, like I'm in here. This just may end up being my first bits and pieces puzzle that I try out, because I haven't tried that brand out yet, so that's gonna be it. The next puzzle set that's in this box is from the Hometown Collection from Heronym, and this one is called Fabulous Farmer's Market. And you know, of course, this image is so me, because you, you know me in farmer's markets. Look at all the little food in the image. We got a flower stall here. Someone selling some, I don't know, hot dogs or pork chops or something. I don't know, there's some pigs on top of this cart. Whatever it is, I'm sure it's gonna be good. And look, you see that house all the way in the background, that pink purpley one? You know that's my house. I love this image. This is absolutely beautiful. And there's something about the Herodim series. His artwork is just, I don't know. There's something real special about it. It's beautiful. Then the next one that we have here is, a puzzle 
from Wentworth. And this one is a wooden puzzle as well. And this one is 500 pieces. And this image, I mean, come on. You know that's my house alone in the distance behind that hill there. It's looking pretty cold outside, so I'm probably gonna stay indoors today. And we do have some of the kind of traditional style puzzle pieces, but some of these are pretty cuckoo. Oh, what is it with wooden puzzles? They do all these crazy things. Look, we got a bird. This is gonna be quite an interesting challenge, um, completing these wooden ones, because I, this is totally different from what I'm used to. I've never had to put animal shapes together before. Hey guys, so I thought I'd jump in here real quick because I'm pretty much finished editing this video, but I realized through my ramblings that I totally forgot that I wanted to mention something to you. I have a pretty big question for you guys, and I've been kind of toying around with this idea for a few months now, and I've actually spoken to some of you about it. What I'm looking to do is build a community with other puzzlers, and I wanna do this by using what I can, probably the best way I can describe it is kind of like a, a message forum. It'll be on a Discord server, so if any of you know what that is, that's basically what I'm trying to do. But again, the best way I can describe it is basically create a community message form for all of us puzzlers to kind of join in and communicate with one another. Basically talking about any, you know, cool puzzle fi finds that you got, any of your own puzzle hauls, what puzzles are you working on, and you can put pictures and whatnot and just, you know, talk back and forth with each other. And it'd just be kind of a way for all of us to kind of, you know, chat and get together and just... I guess everything puzzles, right? And of course I'm gonna be there as well and I'll be putting like channel updates and, and whatnot, but it, this is just mainly for basically everyone, all puzzlers to just join together and share with one another. Now, honestly, I don't know if anything like this exists. You know, I wouldn't know. I'm, I, I don't know a lot, really. Now, again, this is, this is a thought that I have, and it's something that I'm pretty much thinking I, I wanna kind of start putting together pretty soon. But if any of you are interested in anything like this, and I will be probably putting a poll out on my community post on YouTube as well, just to kind of get an idea more of who would be interested. As of right now, hit the like button if you would be interested. And also in the comments down below, feel free to kind of ask questions or leave suggestions on what kind of like message threads or topics you would like for me to add into this forum just so that I can kind of get an idea and kind of start planning and figuring out how I'm gonna set it all up and just kind of like for me to have a basis on, you know, something to start on. But yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there to you guys. So I'm gonna shut up now so that we can continue on with the video because it's already a little bit longer than what I expected. So see you in the next scene. So let's see what's in the second box here. This is a real big one. So we gotta open this up quite carefully. Oh, Diane sent me another card. Oh, Diane, I feel you when it comes to the missing pieces. Yes, Diane, Rick has become uh, one of my newest puzzle pals. And for those of you who don't know, uh, Rick is from Rick's Nifty Puzzles. And he's a new puzzle YouTuber. So I'm gonna leave his link down below so that you guys can check him out as well. And what I love about it is that he gives so much great information about the puzzles that he's working on. And I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I love his editing style. I, I will never be that good, but check his channel out down below and show him some support as well. He's totally awesome. So let's get on to what else Diane sent me here because you know, Diane sent me huge packages and I, I don't know, Diane, I don't know how to say how incredibly grateful I am for all these sets that you've sent me so far. I, I have no words. Our next one here that she sent me is another Heronim hometown collection set. This is beautiful. This is 1,000 pieces. And you know that's my property in the background because that's my house and my lighthouse. You know I love lighthouses. And look what we got going on over here. We got a party happening. What could be more fun than a party with lots of food and some music happening, you know? I won't be able to eat the lobster. You know, I'm allergic to that, but that's okay. You know, there's tons of food here. Our next puzzle set that we have here is 1,000 pieces. Here's the puzzle image, and wow, that one looks crazy, but you know that I would do anything to have a bookshelf that humongous. Not only filled with books, but filled with puzzles as well. This image is gonna be a lot of fun to put together, but you know what? I'm also seeing it as quite challenging because 
Look how much here is just books. And then you have the green, the greenery from the trees. So this one looks like it's gonna be quite the challenge, but it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm really looking forward to that one. Our next one here we have is also another hometown collection. I, I love these images, they're fantastic. This one is of the Chester County Fair. It is 1,000 pieces. And what is more fun than going to a county fair? Not only are you gonna visit like some animals and go on some rides, but you know there's gonna be good food there as well, which you know, to me is always one of the big highlights of going to these kinds of places. And what's even more fantastic about this is that, look, my house is just back there. So, you know, I don't have to go very far to visit. This is fantastic. And we have another hometown collection set here from Heronim. And this one is called Changing of the Guard. And this is 1000 pieces. Now looking at this image, this, this actually does have quite a special place in my heart because this is an image of England here. And fun fact, my husband is from England. And back in our younger years, when we were dating, I would go to England quite often to see him. And he took me to all these wonderful sites. But this is honestly a much cuter looking version of what I actually saw. I love this artwork. And then we also have here, ooh, we have a buffalo set from Charles Wasaki. And this one is called Fairhaven by the Sea. And I don't know what it is, but there's something that really excites me whenever I see little food stalls or food carts in any kind of image. There's just something about it that's so comforting to me. Or maybe I'm just always hungry and I just can't help myself. But I don't know. Again, another fantastic image here. And I know that this one is going to be absolutely fun to work on. And we have here a puzzle from Milton Bradley. And this one is called Sugar and Spice Eat Everything Twice. That's probably the phrase I would want on my gravestone. Absolutely. And again, I can't with this image. Look at this. Look, we, we have ourselves a confectionery here. So you know you're gonna find good stuff. And then not on top of that, we have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich stall on freaking oven hot bread. I mean, it's so hot, the, the, the oven is right next to the cart and he's pulling hot bread out. So you know that's me there who just bought everything that I could afford and just pass it around to everybody because I couldn't help myself. My God, what is it with me and food and puzzle sets? I. This, I love this. And I don't know, something about this image, the colors, the, the orange tones, just, it, I don't know, it gives me feelings of fall, which would probably make, make sense because I'm seeing trees here with hardly any leaves on them. So that's probably what's going on here, but this is absolutely beautiful. I, I just can't anymore. I'm, I'm losing my mind. This is beautiful. And we have here a four 500 piece jigsaw puzzle set of the Home Sweet Home by Roger Nanini. Nanani? N no, Nanini. Oh, geez. But this is a Seiko puzzle. And once again, we have more amazing images of food places. You even have one here of like, what looks to be a pumpkin picking spot. It's, it's fall. I love fall. Fall's my favorite season. Actually, now that I'm looking at this, I feel like we got the four seasons here. Every single one of these is absolutely gorgeous. I know I probably keep saying that over and over again, but honestly, I can't, I can't stop saying it. It's, they're, they're beautiful. And then lastly here, we have ourselves a 2000 piece puzzle set. This one is from Buffalo Games. And this one is of Times Square, New York, New York. And if you guys, you know, have been watching my channel for a while, you know this is my hometown, right? This puzzle just, you know, bring me back, brings me back all those awesome memories. And I kind of feel like this is an older buffalo set. And I'm trying to see what year this was produced because this looks like not only the buffalo logo looks older, but this looks like a much older version of Times Square. I'm sure it's on here somewhere. I'm just going to have to look closer. Probably it's inside the box, but it's sealed up and I don't want to open it until I'm ready to start it. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Diane, for um, a serious amount of puzzles. Again, I can't really, I mean, to all three of you, I can't express fully in words how 
incredibly grateful I am for your generosity and for supporting my channel. And again, thanks to all of you who watch my videos, who like them, who put comments and, you know, I love the fact that a lot of us go back and forth in the comments and we just have all these conversations. It's honestly a lot of fun and I feel like I have like a bunch of pen pals, which is fantastic because to be quite honest, I've, I've never really had that before. Really, I don't have anyone in my personal life that loves puzzles as much as I do. So it's been absolutely wonderful and probably the most amazing and best thing that I got from YouTube. If, if I'm making sense, I'm, I'm probably not making sense. I'm, I'm just trying to like put my words together here. But I just hope that I am getting across how incredibly thankful I am to all of you. And I know I probably said that a thousand times already and you're probably tired of it and want me to end the video. But anyways, again, guys, <laughs> thank you. I don't know, I'm laughing because I feel like this is so bad. I hope it's not as bad as I think it is and that I don't take five years trying to edit it so that it makes sense. But anyways, once again, thank you all for all your support and I will see you in the next one.